beginner level tap dance across the floor exercises. That was a mouthful. I have that for you today. Beginner level across the floor tap dance exercises. Um, this is a beginner level, assuming you already know the steps, but putting it at a good tempo so that you can use them across the floor. If you don't know some of these steps, write down below in the, in the description of the video, I will link my step tutorials playlist where you can get all of these steps as um, tutorial videos. Hello, Beto. <laughs> I haven't seen him all day. Suddenly I'm on my last video that I'm filming for the day and he's like, hey mom. Hi. Oh, he's the, literally the sweetest. Um, the beginner, the beginner tap dancers get all the cats today. Um, so anyway, uh, these step tutorials, the entire video is devoted to teaching you one step. It isolates the step, it breaks it down, and it gives you a good amount of education on the step as well as practice time. So hopefully those are, come in handy. If you don't know any of these steps, pause this one, go to that one, watch that one, learn the step, come back and try it. So um, hopefully that, that works for you guys. Sorry, I'm watching Bento and he looks like he's about to knock over the camera, so let's just Good boy. <laughs> um, okay, so the rules of across the floor. If you haven't done one of my across the floor videos, um, I'm going to show you each step facing this way so that you can see it from the back and know how to properly execute it. I will do it a couple times, let you do it with me a couple times just to get the step. Then going across the floor, going to the right, I'm going to start at this corner and go to this corner. And then when we do it on the left side, I'm going to start at this corner and then go to that corner. Because usually across the floor happens in a much bigger space, and I have this teeny tiny space, and I assume many of you guys have a teeny tiny space, um, because, I mean, whose living room has enough space to do, like, full-on dance class? I have a giant couch in my living room. There's no way to do a dance class in here. So we're going to take this and go from this side to this side, come back. I'll count you in again. We'll do it again. That way we get the number of reps we probably would have had in a big room on a tiny space. So we're going to do the right side twice, and we're going to do the left side twice. And by twice, I mean two rounds of it. I'm probably, for the first one, I'm probably going to do the exercise itself four times across, come back, do it another four times. Sometimes it'll be two times, three times, four times. Just follow along, you'll be fine. Cool. I was about to say, any questions? And then I was like, this is a video, not a live class. So this is my last video I'm filming of the day of a long string of videos. So you're getting crazy, Jen. I hope you enjoy it. Um, the first exercise is just full lap, full lap, full lap, ball change. Full lap, full lap, full lap, ball change. So it's three full laps and one ball change. Brush step, brush step, brush step, step, step. Right, let's do that one more time. So it's full lap, full lap, full lap, ball change. Full lap, full lap, full lap, ball change. Five, six, seven, eight. Left, right, and then your ball chain is left first. And then you switch feet. Left, right, left, and then your ball chain is right first. And this starts with the right, so that would be from that side. It would be exactly the opposite starting from this side. Cool? Cool. Let's do it with music.
weird there for a second, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, so we did full laps. Hopefully that went super well. We're going to move on to riffs. So we're just going to do, you have two options, because beginner is such a wide term. It could mean that you like just started, or you've been doing it for 10 years, but you're still not quite there. You know, like it, it's such a broad term. So you have two options for this. You're either just going to do five count riffs, and there is a video down below in that list just on the five count riff. So if you need that, go for it. Um, just five count riffs would be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Brush the heel, big step. Brush the heel, big step. Option two, you can do two five count riffs. Brush the heel, big step. Brush the heel, big step. Then you have pas de bourre, pas de bourre. So bring a little jazz into this. Step, step, stamp. Step, step, stamp. So in tap, for me, a pas de bourre goes up, up, down, up, up, down. So pattern-wise, it goes back, side, down, back, side, down. So it's going to be kind of slow, so you can really work out that, that pas de bourre. So you have and a one, and two, and a three, and four. They start on and up. The one is that heel. No matter if you're doing the beginner beginner or the one with the pot of berets, it's and a one and two and a three and two. So when I count you in, it's gonna be five, six, seven, and a one and two and a three and four. So make sure you hear that seven for when to go. Okay? Let's do it. So we're going to do step, shuffle, hop, 
and then step, step. That's the way that the step goes. Step, shuffle, hop, step, step. So just right foot, five, six, seven, eight. Step, shuffle, hop, step, step. So there's an Irish in it. Step, shuffle, hop, step, step. So it is an Irish surrounded by two steps. It is an Irish sandwich with step bread. Okay, so step, shuffle, hop, step, step. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, shuffle, hop, step, step. Now your left foot's free. You're gonna do it with the left. Step, shuffle, hop, step, step. Now your right foot's free. You switch to the right. Step, shuffle, hop, step. Switch to the left. So at the end to the beginning of the next phrase, there will be three steps in a row. Don't let that throw you off. Step, shuffle, hop, step, step. Step, shuffle, hop, step, step. This is, I'm doing this for a reason. Step, shuffle, hop, step, 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 shuffle, hop, step, step. Because even though three steps in a row, the phrase starts with that third one, because that's your first one. I hope that wasn't confusing. <laughs> all right, so that's all we're doing for this across the floor. probably do four across the floor, come back, do four more, same thing on the left. Cool? Let's do it. Alright, so it's got a really slow tempo. teach you exactly how to do a Cincinnati. It's like a 20 minute video just devoted to one step. So if you need those videos, check that link. They're probably there. But real quick, we are just going to do the slow version. But if you need a faster version, I got that too. So the slow version is step, sink, heel, shuffle, heel. Step, sink, heel, shuffle, heel. Alright? You're just going to do that all the way across. If you need it faster, you can do them a lot faster if you want to. One, two, three, four. Because beginner means a lot of different things, take this one at your own pace. For the sake of the video being for any level beginner, I'm going to do the slow one the whole time. But if you want to take it up a notch, take it up a notch. This is for you. So, last exercise, just in Cincinnati's. Let's do the same. Right side first, your tempo is very moderate. Step stank heel, shuffle full heel.
floor exercises. I love across the floor so much. Um, it's my favorite part of class that I teach. Any class, anywhere, from YouTube to in the classroom to Zoom, <laughs> wherever I do it. I love across the floor. Um, so I'm really happy to be bringing these to you. Again, if you needed any of those steps, check that link below. I am always adding step tutorials, okay? And there should be, I'm going to do regular across the floor videos. So you should be able to find at least a few right now, depending on when you're watching it. This may be one of my first ones, depending if you're watching it right away or it's like three years from when I made it. I don't know. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos and enjoying the choreography and the exercises that I come up with for you. I don't know who I am if I'm not teaching, so the fact that YouTube gives me these, this opportunity is amazing. So, as always, thank you for dancing with me.